In this screencast, I'm going to consider the kind of nonlinear transformation that one might use to transform integrals. Again, I'm not going to actually do any integration here. I just want to consider the transformation itself. So here's the example I've chosen. The transformation, again, written in terms of component functions, is uh, x is equal to u squared minus v squared, and y is equal to 2uv. So it's not a linear transformation. It's nonlinear. Again, what I mostly want to consider is these curves in which uh, u is equal to a constant and in which v is equal to a constant. So let's do u first. u is equal to a constant. Call it u naught. So you're just going to have to solve now uh, this. So uh, x is equal to u naught minus v squared and y will be equal to 2 u naught v. And if u naught's not uh, 0, I have I can solve for v y over 2 u naught equal v. Just note that u naught not equal to 0 here. I can then substitute this v in here and I get x is equal to u naught squared minus y squared over 4 u naught squared. I'm going to leave it as x as a function of y because I have a nice, uh, have a nice parabola here opening to the left. Now let's do the, let's see, where can I do this? Let's just go on down here. I believe I'll just do this here. In that case, v is equal to a constant. V naught, it's a very similar calculation. x will be equal to u squared minus v naught squared. y will be equal to 2 u v naught. Again, if y, uh, v naught is not equal to 0, I can solve. Again, v naught not equal to 0. I can then substitute and I get x is equal to y squared over 4 v naught squared minus v naught squared. All right, let me just go ahead and do continue with the algebra to do these cases. If you know, let's see if I, if I uh, want to do this here, I guess. So if, um, what if uh, u naught is 0? Well, if u naught is 0, let me just do it as a special case here. u naught equals 0, uh, then y is equal to 0, and x is equal to minus v squared. So x is equal to minus v squared, which will be uh, uh, less than or equal to 0 for any v, and y will be equal to 0. And similarly here, if I can fit it in, I can just put it here. If v naught is equal to zero, I have something similar. I have x is equal to yeah, x is equal to u squared, which is greater than or equal to zero. And again, y is equal to zero. All right, so let's have a go at plotting what this looks like. I think you'll find this interesting. All right, so let's do u v and uh, x y. So let's just do ahead. Let's go ahead and do these these cases. So um, the u naught equals zero curve again. Remind you. So so this is a. Uh, so that's u is equal to a constant. Oh, I didn't label this. This is u, of course, and this is v. This is x, and this is y. So this is u, uh, u is equal to a constant, uh, and namely u equals 0. So this is u naught equals 0. And that gets mapped to y is equal to 0 and x is negative. And so that gets mapped over to here. And you'll notice that as v goes from minus infinity to plus infinity, what happens is this curve is, uh, is traced twice. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to get um, too long-winded about this. I'm only going to consider this part of the curve where v is positive. So in fact, let me just go ahead and erase this. Let's just not even worry about that for the purposes of this discussion. And so as uh, v increases, this you move out uh, to the left here. Now, uh, and uh, this curve, let's look at this. Now, if uh, v naught is 0, we have a similar situation. y is zero, equal to 0, but now x will be positive. So let's do that case. So that'll be here this curve. Again, this curve is traced twice if, if u goes over the full range of u, but I'm not going to even consider the negative negative u's, and we'll just have this picture. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. So now let's do uh, at least a couple of these other curves. Let's do, if we set u naught equal to 1 now and vary v, um, we're going to have this uh, parabola, so let's do that. So let me just pick it here. So I'm going to assume that's um, u is equal to 1. So here so this is u naught equal 0. This will be u naught equal 1. It'll be this curve here. And what does that look like? Well, it looks like it's going to be yellow. It's going to start here at 1. I'm going to assume that's 1. It's going to intersect. Uh, when, let's see, when x is equal to 0, y will be equal to, is it 4? Yeah, y will, no, y will be equal to 2. So, and, and this will be 1. So this will go like this. Okay, so it's a problem like this. And I would just say that for um, this will be the particular curve this one. If I draw other, I consider other um, u naught curves, say at 2, 
I'm probably just gonna draw this and then erase it. Or they go out. Oh, you wouldn't even be able to see it. It's it's out here. It's off the it's off the screen. It will come up. Will be some uh, further away parabola. Okay, so I'm gonna have here. Let me just draw some of them. I'm gonna erase them. I'm gonna set a nest parabolas here. And in fact, if you continue it for v negative, they'll go this way. Let me just draw those. All right, so that's what they look like. Let me just erase those. Let me erase them all. Just keep that one. All right. And so now we'll do these um these v curves. And again, I'm gonna do particularly the one where v is equal to one. Say v not equal one. That will give me. So let's look at this. So now um, when y is equal to zero, x will be equal to minus one, and it, um, and so I'm going to have a parabola opening the other way. It'll be a symmetric partner of that one. Look like this. Again, the full set of these curves look like uh, their full parabolas like this. There's a whole nested family of them. As, um, as a particular value of v naught is varied. When you get down here to zero, they collapse onto this onto this curve. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to take those off. Yeah, I'm going to take those off there. It's a nice picture, but uh, I'm going to take them off. And so I want to show you something interesting. So if I trace out now, let's see if I can do this and not screw up. I want to trace out this unit square here and see what that looks like uh, in this plane. Well, let's just do it. So as I go across here, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go here, 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 here. So what does that look like? It goes here, up with a, a u naught equal one, then a v naught equal one is this, and then um, u naught equal zero is that. So you just watch that. This so that's one side of the square. It's the other side of the square, third side of the square, and back to the beginning. So um, so you see, in, uh, I didn't work out the Jacobian, but this unit square then gets mapped to this region, and you could use that to to integrate over that region if you if you wanted to. Again, uh, let me just put these, if, if I can redo this, I'm going to put those back on. It's a pretty picture, and I'm just going to end with that. And perhaps not, uh, not quantitatively right, but that qualitatively it is right. And just to show you some nice um, coordinate transformation that happens when you allow for nonlinear functions, nonlinear transformations.